Hey there, guys. I'm Hello Japan. And welcome back to Let's Take a Crack At. In today's episode, we'll be taking a crack at The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. So, for those of you unfamiliar, and this is your first episode of watching, welcome! And this series is a first impression series. I sit down for the very first hour of any game that I haven't played before. Now, this was a little different. We'll get into that in a second. But I sit down for the first hour of any game, and at the very end, I'll let you know what I thought. So, Twilight Princess. Have I played it before? Yes. Have I played the HD version before? No. So, is it kind of cheating? <laughs> kind of. Uh, but it, it is different enough to actually, for me, to justify including. So, that's my train of thought anyway. Um, now, right off the bat, before we get into it, I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite... Woof. What is your favorite Zelda? I almost said Twilight Princess. What is your favorite Zelda game? Personally, mine has always been Twilight Princess. Um, I grew up playing Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and they're fun. And I really love them to death, but whatever it was, Twilight Princess was the first Zelda game to grab me and like, just keep me enthralled throughout the entire experience. Now, everyone's different. Now, everyone has their own personal favorite Zelda, and I've just always loved Twilight Princess. Just always have. I remember Christmas Day sitting down uh, with my brand new Wii <laughs> and me and my brother were playing through some Twilight Princess. Good memories, man. Good memories. So, without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. And like I said, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the series, as soon as I hit new game, we will get started. And we'll have one hour. And after that hour is up, I'll let you know what I thought. So it is going to be kind of different because I've already played Twilight Princess before. Granted, I haven't finished it since 2006, so it's <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been quite a long time, so I'm going to try to remember the differences and how everything is, but hopefully it should be pretty fun. So with that, let's go ahead and get started here, guys. This is Let's Take a Crack at episode 54, Twilight Princess HD. Let's get started. Uh, we're just going to go with Link. Simple and easy. And a Pona as well, because what else are you going to name your horse? Now, this is something interesting. They have two different modes here. You have Hero Mode, which, uh, as you can see in Hero Mode, the damage you take will be doubled and no hearts will drop for advanced players only. Now, the other cool thing about this is that not only is it like double damage and hearts don't drop, you, have to, you can only refill through fairies and potions, I think. The world is also reversed, so it looks like the Wii version. Now, that's the version I'm familiar with. I never played the GameCube version, which is technically this right here, normal mode, which is Link has his sword in his left hand, and the world is reversed compared to the Wii version. Now, technically, this is the standard game mode, whereas in here, hero mode, like I said, everything's flipped, so Link has his sword in his right hand just to fit the more common control scheme of the Wii, which is using the Wii mote in your right hand. So, we're going to be playing normal mode. It's going to be a bit different for me. So, it's like I can justify <laughs> a first impression a little bit more than I can with uh, hero mode here. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Thank you. 
Alrighty, so here we have it guys, this is Twilight Princess HD. It's not a bad looking game, truthfully, it really is not a bad looking game. Uh, and if you are subscribed to the YouTube channel Digital Foundry, you may have seen some of the reports of frame rate dips slightly. Um, I'm not going to get into that because I'm slowly trying to not care about that kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, compared to the Wii and GameCube version, there are a few areas where frame rate does dip a little bit, and that's only because this is being played at native 1080p. Uh, granted, it is only 30 frames per second, which, again, whatever. I don't really want to care about that as much as I used to. Um, but it does look pretty good. It is actually a pretty good looking game, and it is impressive how much detail... Uh, or attention to detail, the d detail they've actually put into retexturing things and and upresing the uh, the models as a whole. Again, if you get up close to it, it doesn't look super great, but it's not terrible. And of course, it's a Zelda game, and all that you really care about in a Zelda game is the gameplay. So I am playing this on the gamepad, and sadly, you guys cannot see it. My gamepad is dying. <laughs> I'm gonna plug it in real quick. Hang on. Um, and you guys can't see it, sadly, but what I'm seeing on the gamepad here is there, there is a screen that has a big map. So instead of actually needing the mini-map on screen, I can make that go away. Clear up some screen real estate, which I really do like. Um, there's an items menu, which is pretty par for the course. A bunch of blank squares, and then you can drag and drop and assign it to the buttons you want. Uh, we're going to leave it on the map for now. And again, sorry you guys can't see it, but uh, don't have my webcam set up right now. <laughs> so, uh, Regardless, it's pretty cool. I, I really do really do like the setup they have. It's, if you've played, uh, what was it, uh, Wind Waker HD, you, you, know, you know the setup that they have. And uh, during cutscenes like that, I'm probably not going to do any voice acting or voice acting. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to be reading the dialogue. Dialogue like this, though, I will read. Come on now, hurry up and bring opponent with you. So yeah, I'm gonna read that, but not actual cutscene, cutscene dialogue, because it's too much reading. <laughs> I'm being lazy. Alrighty, so that girl took opponent somewhere. Who was she? There she is. Yeah, see, like, this right here, since it's a cutscene, I'm not going to read it. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try and leave the dialogue on screen for as long as I can, though, so you guys get a chance to read it. Thanks. Pona's not dirty anymore. 
A bonnet works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Link. Could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes. Oh, so this, I remember this now. If you're ever stranded out in Hyrule <laughs> Field and you need Epona, you go ahead and play this. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm trying to remember because there's a lot of callbacks to previous Zelda games. Was that Zelda's Lullaby? I think from Ocarina of Time. I think so. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Yeah, it was. It had to have been. It's such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't make her do too much work, okay? Yeah. You know, it, it is weird to be playing this on a, a gamepad or a controller of any kind because I've only experienced this game on the the uh, the nunchuck and the uh, the Wii Wii controller, the Wii Mote. So it is it is actually kind of strange to play it like this. Now I'm sure the game would probably be a little bit more enjoyable if I was to play it on the. Um, if I was to play it on the uh, Gamepad Pro, but I don't have one. <laughs> so. Eh. But it is convenient to actually have the the items menu available to you at all times, so you don't actually have to open up anything. And that was the biggest that was the biggest plus for having a Zelda game on Wii U, and everyone was excited about it, and then in implementation it's like eh. Maybe I kinda liked having it. <laughs> As weird as it sounds, enjoyed having the uh, menu actually pop up. I don't know. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, so what's his face? Oh, it's so weird, guys. It's so weird because, like I said, I'm used to playing this on the on the Wii or the Wii version. So over here, I'm used to taking a left and going over that way. So it, it's 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 almost like looking at at an upside down. I guess. Really, it's like looking at a reverse world, but it's almost like looking at the world upside down and be like, trying to navigate it. You know, you're so used to one thing, <laughs> and that it just completely, completely reverses it on you. Oh, it's so strange, man. I don't mind it. It's just weird. Ordon Ranch. Hey, dude. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awfully, sk awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud. But how's about you and Epona herd him up into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Yeah, sure, man. No problem. Alrighty, much obliged there, bud. Okay, then. Go on and herd all these little scamps into the barn for me. Sounds good. Now, I remember doing this. I remember having so much problems with this when I was younger. So many problems with it. It was so difficult. I just got so frustrated playing this part. Now, if I remember correctly, if you whoop at them enough, they'll actually buck at you, I think. Like, kick their legs at you. It's actually really easy. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I had problems with this. Or charge you, rather. I, don't, I think they'll charge you. Don't quite remember. Get on in there, little doggy. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Link, Epona, much obliged to both y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Thanks, dude. Oh, but how about... But how... Let me try that again. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Oh, so he's setting up. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of a callback to Long Long Ranch from uh, um, Ocarina of Time, where you had to jump the fences in order to get a Pona. <laughs> oh, sorry it took so long. Okay, then. Y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired? Okay. Cool. So, yeah, we're going to just basically get on out of here. 
So that this is just a, a way to teach you about the merits of jumping fences with Epona. Now, you can jump certain gaps, I think. But if a fence is too high, Epona will just get mad and <laughs> be like, <"Mur>, nay! <laughs> Did not want to go into it. So keep that in mind when you're looking at fences to jump uh, within Hyrule Field. Oh, you can press down on the D-pad. Oh, cool. Hey, that's a nice touch. Now, <laughs> excuse me. I don't think we'll be getting into Hyrule Field anytime soon. Um, that's actually probably what, two hours or three hours into the game. So we'll most likely just experience the base of what this game has to offer. At least that's what I'm thinking. Little kids, what you want? God, this is a good looking game, man. And it's always, it, there's always that feeling of like, oh, I'm playing a Zelda game again. I don't know how to describe it. I guess those of you who, who, who like Zelda and play Zelda, you know what I'm talking about, but... Oh, too dark in here. Those of you who haven't played a Zelda game might not know the feeling. Just so, it's almost, it sounds weird to say, but it's almost like feeling like you're home again. It's like, oh, man. It longing to feel... <laughs> feel as feel the Zelda game again? That sounds really creepy and weird, but that's basically what I'm trying to say. What's up, little kids? Hey. Ah. Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I I need it. I must try it. Is that the little kid saying that? <laughs> Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly. Just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Uh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. <laughs> what the fuck? What you doing? Hi, Link finished the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but my dad said, you just wait until Link comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. <laughs> Dad's out today. Uh, so would you ask mom about it? I think she's by the river. Sounds good, kid. Sounds good. So we got a slingshot and we got a fishing rod. Okay. A few good starting items. Now, I remember <laughs> getting the fishing rod in, um, in the Wii version. It was so cool, man. God, it's weird. Everything's reversed. I don't like it. <laughs> it was, um... It was really cool to actually have that... Besides Wii Sports, which I think I played before Zelda, have that feeling of, whoa, it's like a one-to-one -one experience. I'm actually fishing in a video game. <laughs> I think before that, the only fishing experience that I had was, uh... Pro Bass Fishing... It's from Sega or something like that <laughs> at the arcade or Chuck E. Cheese or something. Oh, um, morning to you. Did you come to get the fishing rod that Colin made? Yeah. I'm really sorry. Would you hear me out first? Oh, goodness. Uh, have you seen a cradle come <laughs> Moses your baby out of here? What the fuck? <laughs> have, you, uh, have you not seen a cradle come floating by here? Have you? Have you? Read that weird. Uh, it is a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could I have drifted? How far could it have drifted, I wonder? Alright, so yeah, we just gotta go find it. It's down over here. I remember correctly. Hey! Yo, Link! Uh, there's always a guy in a Zelda game that's like, Hey, look at me! You pressed the Z button! <laughs> All the time. At least I think. Oh, you know what? There it is. I remember that now. We need... Doo -doo -doo. I think we need a hawk to actually go grab it. Now, what I mean by that is there's a uh, thing we can do. And this guy, I think, is talking. He's going to explain it, I think. Well, hey, morning, Link. Uh, well, hey, morning, Link. 
Got a day off work today, my boy. Not me. My wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Up in the tree? Yeah, so he's just talking about there's a, a bee's nest up there, and you can actually use a hawk to knock it down by using a piece of grass like we had before with a uh, pona. Now, I think there's one up here. Memory serves me correct. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. You look weird. Ew. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know, Sarah, the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. <laughs> you don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? <laughs> Cat can't catch no fish. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want to take a look at something. See that grass? Oh, yeah, so that the grass right here, as you can see, it kind of looks like a hawk. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Pick it up, blow it, and then you can... I think you can control the hawk from there. Let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> nice. Now, I, I swear, if this controls through gyroscope on the gamepad, I'm going to be upset. Because it's always frustrating to fly with. Okay, good, it's both. Go get that monkey. No! Fuck! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like... looks like. Hang on, let's do two of these. We're going to do this one here. Hit that beehive over there. And then we're going to jump over there. And I just noticed that there was a uh, another piece of the grass on a rock. Or uh, the platform ahead of us. Next to that blue rupee right there where we <laughs> smacked the bird into. Guys, right, so let's turn around here. Whoop. There we go. Nice. Hey! I don't know what that does for us, but it does something. We'll go investigate that in a minute. Alright, first... Get off my roof! <laughs> Some guy starts yelling at us. Now, one thing I did not like about this game is that every time you would turn it off and then turn it back on, it would reintroduce the values of rupees to you. And I think most items for that, for that matter. Uh, I know it did it for rupees and slimes, uh, or uh, not slimes, whatever they're called, um, the gooey guys, <laughs> I don't remember their names, um, Juju, Ju I think that was what they're called, they're, they're jellied, whatever, whatever it is, I every time you turn off the game, it says, hey, this is how much this is worth, or this is what this is, it, it got a bit annoying, and hopefully it doesn't do that this time, I have a feeling it probably will though, which... It's not super annoying, but it is just like, oh, come on. If I want to play for an hour and put it down and pick it up later that night, you don't have to re-explain everything to me again. That's just my opinion, though. Alrighty, so... And I just noticed that convenient uh, Triforce in the back of Link's hand. <laughs> Stupid thing from the monkey. Boom! Go get it. <laughs> stupid monkey. Nice. Alrighty, let's go bring the uh, the Moses basket back to what's her face. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Link. That cradle. Did you get? Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to. Okay, really, you just. Mm -mm. Fine, I'll follow you. <laughs> she, I thought. She, okay, when we went to go talk to her the first time, didn't she? Wasn't she like, oh yeah, that uh, that fishing rod Colin made for you. I'm gonna give it to you, but first do something for me. Now she's like, I think I was supposed to give you something. I don't remember. <laughs> My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes. I nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. Hey! Fishing rod, nice. So let's see how this works this time. I'm sure it's gonna be fairly similar to 
how it worked in uh, the Wii version. It was a little unpolished. My son Colin made it, made this under the instruction of his father. Uh, if you want. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. I right, so quickly looking at the items here, the item screen on the gamepad. Uh, top left item slot is filled with the fishing rod, and if I poke it and drag it, I can actually assign it to uh, the Y button, the X button, or the R button. So we're gonna pop it in the Y. There we go. That's cool. I really do like that. That is convenient. And that was the biggest, like, oh my goodness, we can finally get rid of the, the menu <laughs> from the Zelda, from uh, from all Zelda titles with the, the gamepad here. Like I said, surprisingly, it's one of those things where it's like, after you get rid of it, you're like, ooh, I kind of wish I had it. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Now, what in the world? What was the point of that? Is there anything up here? I might be just climbing for nothing. I probably am, aren't I? Uh, oh, no. I'm not. Ooh. What do we got? Oh, look at that blue rupee. Yellow rupee! Dude, high roller. High roller, man. Hey! Ten rupees. Good stuff. Alrighty. Uh, so now, well, hang on real quick, add these over here. So now we're going to go catch ourselves a fish with our new fishing rod. Uh, and I think the ultimate goal is to try and get the slingshot. I think. Yeah. yeah so we have to catch a fish and then this cat will not run away from us. Yeah. yeah let's go ahead and try this. Bloop. So I think you just pull back with the left stick, because that's all I'm doing right now. Oh, you have to hold the Y button. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't forget to hold down the Y button, or keep that held down. Oh, oh, teasing me. There we go. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> As you can see, the cat behind is really interested now. <laughs> now this link isn't nearly as expressionful. Is that a word? Sure, it is now. He doesn't have as much expression on his face as the uh, the link from Wind Waker did, but it's still pretty. It's still pretty entertaining to watch his watch his face. Let's put this away. There we go. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty simple. Now, I think all we have to do. I'll have left is uh, to buy the slingshot and then go show it off to those kids over there. <laughs> oh my, Link. Come in. Oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little old self. Okay, yeah, sure. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. <laughs> Just look. Isn't he so cute? The way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear. Why don't you have some too? Uh, I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. No shit, we got a free bottle. Nice. So, alright, milk gives you three hearts. Good to know. Nice. Alright, uh, don't worry about you. Turn the bottle empty. Okay, cool. <laughs> so what do you say, my dear? Anything you want today? Now, let's see here. How much? 30! Okay, we're almost there. Good stuff. I'm gonna go get ourselves five more rupees. Now, I think they replenish themselves, I think. I don't know. I don't, maybe they don't. Yeah, we can go take a look. Every time you reload the area is what I mean. They do. Good stuff. Oh, we'll be able to get it anyway. Hang on. We just need one more. I think sometimes these happen. Yay! There we go. 30. 
Nice. Okay, lady, give me the slingshot. Bye. There we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are you what are you doing buying a slingshot? You naughty thing. What the fuck? Uh, you're too old for toys. You at least let the kids play with it. No, I should tell you. If you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. Oh, cool. Hey, we got the slingshot. Nice. You were never too old for a slingshot. Are you kidding? Get out of here, lady. You don't know anything. <laughs> Slingshots are awesome. I haven't used a slingshot in years, but they're really fun. All right, let's go ahead and equip this to X. Nice. Uh, now the kids should be back over here. And I think... I don't actually know what we're doing next. Oh, and uh, I also... Oh, hey, dude. I also did get myself the Wolf Link Amiibo, because uh, I did buy the physical copy of this game. Uh, we're probably not going to use it in the stream, or in the stream, sorry. We're probably not going to use it in the uh, this episode here, uh, only because it's still in the packaging and I don't really feel like opening it right now. Uh, but if I do a Let's Play or stream of this or whatever, I will definitely, um, I will definitely include it. Ah, just in time, Link. I just delivered something to your home, to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod, Colin. We'll be pleased. And it works better than you'd think, right? I'll have a good one. Thanks, dude. What'd you get for me? Present? Hey, Colin, I got your thing. What do you say? Oh, you got it. Hope you like it. Aren't you off to work today, Link? Or aren't you off of work today? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yay. You stupid spider. <laughs> Alrighty. Dude's an asshole, I just realized. He, he, he climbed up our ladder without killing that spider. <laughs> and left us a present. Ooh, what'd you, you got us a really grand chest for it, dude. <laughs> hey, we got a wooden sword. Uh, Russell returned it after honing it for you. Oh, cool. Can I equip? Oh, it's already equipped. Okay, cool. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What's up, dudes? Link! <laughs> Try that again. Link has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow. He had enough money to buy it. I keep... What am I doing? You had enough money to buy it, Link? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing like uh, Wind Waker HD, you're going to have the gyroscope in the gamepad to be able to shoot things around. Cool, let's do it. Preparation's complete. Okay, wow. This is great. Let's see how powerful the slingshot is. <laughs> can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. <laughs> Just shows what little boys you both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about it. So I guess you'll just have to show them, Link. <laughs> She's excited too. Don't lie. Hey! <laughs> Poof. Hey! Nice. <laughs> no problem, little kids. Always here to entertain. Gee, you really are amazing, Link. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you can use swords and slingshots and everything. Hey, yeah, that reminds me. You've got to teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously. Lately, these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Beat the shit out of a monkey with a stick? Yeah, yeah. she'll teach you. This is basically an excuse to uh, teach the player how to use a sword, too. I'm not sure if you have to do it, though. 
I don't think you do. <laughs> Whoa! A horizontal sli horizontal slice. Was that it? Was it? Vertical. Okay. So yeah, it's just tutorial-y stuff. Damn it! I've always had problems with the stab. I never use it in actual gameplay. <laughs> Come on! Oh my goodness. No, stay away. Stop! What the fuck? Why can't I do it? Hang on. Back away from all this. Back away from all this. We need to practice. It's like a weird exact timing kind of thing. No. Shit. And that's why I never do it. It, it was a little bit easier to do it on the uh, on Wind Waker, if I remember. But for some reason, it's like a slight delay between button prompts. <laughs> Stop! Okay, so it's like you push forward and then B. <laughs> Holy shit! I keep pressing B! Quit doing that! There we go! Jeez. So you can either hold B for this. Or you can spin the, uh, rotate the analog stick, and then press B. Alright, jump attack. Sure thing, kid. Yeah, so I never do the stab, though, because I'm terrible at it, and I end up just pressing, mashing the B button throughout the whole game, so... Don't expect any intricate moves or anything. <laughs> Thanks, Link! So, uh... I think I get it. Kinda. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that anytime one of those naughty monkeys shows up... Ah. Ho! Monkey! Monkey butt! <laughs> Come here, you! <laughs> no, what are you doing, kids? You get yourself killed by a monkey. It's not the right way. Where am I going? This way. What do you say? Everyone into the woods. I wonder if they're okay. Yeah, I'm sure they're okay. Okay, come on, Epona. Let's go. I'm sure they're fine. She's gonna basically say, hey, they, they went ahead of us. This freaking idiot. Kid went even further up here. Bear on woods. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Jeez, stupid kid. He went pretty deep in here, didn't he? Get out of here. Oh. There's a stick. I'm gonna play wooden sword. It's Talos. Uh oh. Kid, I'm coming. Don't be eaten by monkeys. <laughs> that's the thing, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, you know what? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think there's a thing back here we can get. Hang on. I don't actually know when we get it, but it, it's something that's important. Or it, it does help. Ow. Alrighty. Oh! An Ordonian. I'm gonna say Ordonian. Hey, guy. Listen. I'm not sure you should... <laughs> the bird just fly through him. What the fuck? I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. 
get a ton of caves and dank spots around here and you can get pretty dark even in the middle of the day you're gone yeah so this is what i came here for we got the lantern pretty uh a pretty useful item you actually use it throughout the duration of the game one of the few items besides like your sword and that you, you actually use a ton so lantern oil here and dump a okay so this guy will always be here to sell you oil. Uh, now, you won't really necessarily need to come back to him because you can just find lantern oil wherever. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and put you on there. Whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> now we got a free bottle, I guess. Meant for that. There we are. Yeah. So that's pretty pretty easy. Now I could have sworn by lighting these you got something. Maybe not though. Maybe not. I guess not. Okay. No worries. Now the oil only gets used while you have it out. Now if you have it back in your inventory like I just put it away like that. Uh, the oil won't burn down, but it will continually burn down if you have it out. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Get ourselves some light here. See, and you can also mount it on the side of you, so if you don't want uh, to put it away necessarily, you can just keep it on your hip. Very nice touch. I really, really do like that. You know, I was thinking about it. Maybe the reason I like this game, compared more so to Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and uh, uh, Wind Waker, is I think I like the darker tone of it. I think maybe just the darker tone, to me, is a little bit more, not necessarily fitting, but just I, I enjoy it more than I do the happier nature <laughs> sounds kind of weird to say the happier nature of um, ooh, uh, Wind Waker or even Twilight or even uh, uh, Ocarina of Time for that matter I mean they're not necessarily happy heartful heart filled games but they are tonally more happy than um, <laughs> than this game or maybe it's even, maybe it isn't even tonally maybe it's more thematically it, it just looks like a happier game I don't know I don't know. That's how I feel, though. <laughs> Alright, we got 10 rupees. Nice. Put you away. I forgot how quickly you burn through oil. It's actually fairly fast. So right here. This was the big frame rate dipping point. So, hopefully, I mean, it's not too bad right now. Then again, you know, I, like I said, I'm trying to not focus on that too much. I'm trying to just enjoy a game for what it is. I don't want to spend so much of my time focused on, oh, this game is this frame rate, so I can't even play it. I, I, I used to be like that way too much, and I need to, need to stop being like that. Just enjoy the game for what it is. A fun video game. <laughs> So where'd that kid go? Hey, buddy. Hey. Nice. Can I hit you? No. <laughs> so we need to find a key for that. Okay. Nice. Oh, don't do that. Ooh, get out of here. Hey, we got some pumpkin seeds. Nice. It's a weirdly low-flying key. 
And uh, th those bats, those bat things are called keys. I think the keys, like, I think it is actually spelled K-E-Y-S. I could be wrong, but I've always called it a key. <laughs> or a bat. I don't know. There we go. That's better. I like that. Quick and simple. Oh. One of you better have the key for this door. Scumbags. Here we go. Alrighty, here we go. What's up, dude? Oh, secret chest, yeah. So whenever you see torches or things that can be lit, always light them because it's a pretty much a Zelda staple that if you light something on fire, you're, uh, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to actually get us to get something out of it. And if not, you just light the area up so it looks, looks better. Hey, piece of heart. Cool, we need five of them. Now, from memory... Isn't the traditional Zelda game four pieces of heart for a full heart? That's what I thought it was. I could be wrong. But I could have sworn it was five pieces of heart for... Or, sorry, four pieces of heart for a full new heart container. Now, they could have changed it up in this game, and they, it seems like they did. I just don't remember. Don't remember offhand. Yo! That was a triple threat there. <laughs> I took out three enemies. Nice. Oh, cool. The enemies aren't here. Alrighty. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Hey there, friends! That's good. <laughs> this is who I was thinking of. I thought we were gonna get the lantern from this guy. Oh, hey! Woo! You're super! Now, just buy something, hey? <laughs> so he sells healing uh, potions. Welcome. Hey, buy something, anything. <laughs> yeah, the the this here is red potion, and it will heal you. And then this other thing is uh, lantern oil. I th I'm pretty sure. You know, let's buy something just just for the hell of it. Oh, bottle. Oops. There we go. And we got some lantern oil. Now you can run away, but I think he'll be mad at you every other time you come back here. So let me drop the money in there. Uh, how much was it? Shit, was it 20? 20, okay. Wah, thanks, hey, thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, hey, thank you. Come back sometime. Hey, I love doing that bird voice. For some reason, that's one of the few voices that I actually have practiced and gotten pretty mediocre with. <laughs> <laughs> now, normally in my Zelda playthroughs, I I do the I do the voices and I do the whole nine yards. Um, but I wanted to be a little more reserved for <laughs> just for this first impressions video. Alrighty. Well, I think we found... Yeah. Found our buddy! Come here, Talon. I think his name was Talon. And Monkey. <laughs> what are you doing to them, you sick freaks? Now, 
was trying to do a spin attack there, but that didn't work. So, almost time for you to get going, huh, Link? So how about so how's about we finish up early today, bud? Sure thing, man. Let's go ahead and get a pona. Go ahead and corral these little goat jerks inside. Let's do it. Hey. Okay then. Let's get started. Sounds good, my friend. Sounds good. We have the same amount of goats. Or we have no. We have more. Twenty. What the? They've been breeding. The best thing to do is just kind of sweep them around and try and force them into the center here. If you can get them all to go in the same direction at the same time. No, don't do that. There we go. Look at that. Woo! All the goats. <laughs> we got seven left. Now, I might actually play a little bit longer because there's one scene I've been trying to get to. And then that will basically be the end of it. So we might go a little bit longer than an hour. And for those of you who are curious about my impressions right now, it's great. I, I've loved this game. This is my favorite Zelda, so I'm going to be kind of biased in that regard. But go get it. It's 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 really really good so far. Now, if you've never experienced this game before, then you have no excuse to go pick it up. But or but not to pick it up, especially if a Wii U. I mean, there's not too many super great titles for the Wii U, so definitely be sure to go pick some. Go pick it up because it is very good. It is very good. There, fucking goats. Ugh! So frustrating doing this. There we go. Alright, last two. Oof. It took me two minutes. <laughs> oh, buddy. But all you can herd. Nah. We're good. Let's go. See you, dude. Now, you can actually try and get a better time. I don't know if it gives you anything. I don't think it does. If anything, I think it just gives you rupees. So I'm not really that interested in doing it. Um, but it is there if you want to better your time for some reason.
women, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was shitty. Uh, so, no, yeah. Uh, that was fun. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Stop. I was trying to roll. Stop. You weirdo. He's weird looking, though. So, yeah. She took opponent back to the springs where we saw her at the very beginning of the game. Or uh, met her at the very beginning of the game. Oh. Hmm. You little shit, so you're not gonna let me through. I'm waiting for you, Link. You know, Link. Yesterday was so much, <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. I was just telling Mallow here about how he wanted, or about how we wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, well, you didn't get caught. <laughs> oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad. Something awful. <laughs> I thought it was never going to end. <laughs> hey, you're trying to go see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let... What the... F what? Oh, hey. Neat Link. Let me borrow that wooden sword. Uh, if, I'd, if, I've, if I'd had that wooden sword yesterday, I wouldn't... Sure, whatever take for now. I just need to go get my horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing, I'll show him. Okay, yeah, now they're out of the way. Let's go. Let's go get our horse. Link. Thanks. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. But when I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Link. A rancher? <laughs> I don't think I want to learn about swords or anything. But could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? So he does want to be a rancher. Cool. Can you? You have to promise. Sure thing, kid. Sure thing. Alrighty. Come here, Pona. Let's go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to injure Epona. Can I have her back? I kind of have to get going. We're seeing the, the, the queen. Or princess, rather. Uh, what? There was a secret entrance, I remember. Oh, everything's reversed, so it's over here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the reverse is going to kill me. Later, Once we get to the later part of the game, it probably won't matter as much because I don't remember the later half of the game. But this opening segment is so weird, man. It's so strange playing it all in reverse. And if you've only played it in the GameCube, then you really don't know the feeling. But it's weird.
Well, guys, that will do it for us today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Take a Crack At. This has been episode 54, Twilight Princess HD. Now, my final thoughts. It's a fantastic game. If you heard me earlier on in the episode, uh, I absolutely adore this game. This is my favorite Zelda game. Now, it's a kind of a weird pick for a favorite Zelda, but like I explained earlier, it was just that one title that just grabbed me the most out of all the Zeldas I played. I haven't played a Zelda since that's been able to grab me, not let go, and have such an impact on me as this did. Now, Ocarina of Time is great. I love Ocarina of Time, and I know that's most people's favorite, but I just had a better experience with this, for whatever reason. Ocarina of Time was my first Zelda, so it's always going to be near and dear to my heart for that reason, but this one I enjoyed far, far more than I did Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Majora's Mask, whatever. So... Yeah, I had a great time with this. I would I would definitely say go pick it up if you own a Wii U. Now, I know that's not many people, but if you have a buddy that owns a Wii U, I don't know, but find a way to get it or get, have him get it and or her get it, you know, kind of share the experience because it is very, very good and I would recommend it. Uh, and if you just have a Wii, go get the Wii version because the Wii version is just as good. Uh, but uh, yeah, with that, guys, we're going to call it quits here. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Take a Crack At, like I said. Next episode, uh, I guess I'll say now, is actually going to be The Division. Quite a different experience <laughs> from this, but uh, hopefully one that you guys will enjoy nonetheless. So, yeah. Well, thank you for watching. I've been Hello Japan. Once again, this has been Let's Take a Crack At, episode 54, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD, for the Wii U. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.